Hello, Grade 7 learners! It's a new day of fun and exciting learning. This is Sir John Reed, your guide to making English so much fun! If you're looking for learning fun, English is so much fun. Say together, yes we can! English is so much fun. Don't you fret, you'll get it done. Just don't forget that English is so much fun. For today's episode, we will talk about the gathering of current information from non-print media sources. At the end of this episode, you are expected to define what a non-print media source is, give examples of non-print media, and get current information from non-print media, radio, and TV. You have learned that print media is the printed versions of telling the news. Now, we will proceed to our next lesson, which is non-print media. To start with, let's check your prior knowledge on print and non-print media. I will be presenting to you description of print and non-print media. Put PM if it refers to print media and NPM for non-print media. Are you ready? Indicate whether the following statements refer to print or non-print media. Number 1. It often supplements visual programs. The answer is NPM. Number 2. It does not require visual effects for meaningful learning to take place. The answer is PM. Number 3. It produces news and stories that are meant to be read. The answer is PM. Number 4. It attracts people with colorful and attractive photos and videos. The answer is NPM. Number 5. Documents may be displayed electronically. The answer is NPM. Number 6. Getting information from an electronic billboard. The answer is NPM. Number 7. Reading unread text messages on your mobile phone. The answer is NPM. Number 8. Reading a letter from an old friend. The answer is PM. Number 9. Learning that government will ban liquor purchases and consumption through a poster in the Barangay Hall. The answer is PM. And number 10. You heard over a radio news program that a storm is about to make landfall in your town. The answer is NPM. The previous episode put the emphasis on print media, which is the printed version of delivering information or news, basically through newspapers and magazines and other printed publications. But we all know that the print media is not our only source of information, right? So let me ask you a couple of questions to get our discussions going. Do you have TVs at home? How about a radio? These are the appliances that we usually have in our homes. TV or television and the radio are just two examples of non-print media and are considered to be the most popular ones. So, what exactly is non-print media? 
Non-print media, also called broadcast media, includes everything that is not considered print media, such as television, radio, digital media, websites, podcasts, e-billboards, and the like. In short, non-print media supplies people with information in a format that can be heard or viewed. Let us check out the advantages of non-print media. Non-print media gives more updated information. It attracts people with colorful and attractive photos and videos. TV and radio can give us information for free. Non-print media is more accessible for most people. They are more appealing to most people because they contain sound and videos. Most people now have TVs and smartphones. They focus both on news and entertainment. Now, let us take a look at the similarities and differences between print media and non-print media. Print media, in general, gives more reliable information. But one of the strengths of non-print media is that it is able to provide more updated information as things and events unfold in real time. Print media attracts people with colorful and attractive photos, while non-print media attracts people not only with colorful and attractive photos, it also has videos and sound. Print media is generally inexpensive, but it's still something that comes with a price. Non-print media, like TV and radio, gives us information for free once we have the appliance or gadget. Both print media and some types of non-print media are portable. They can be read anywhere and anytime, but some non-print media platforms are more accessible than print media. Print media is less appealing to people, especially young people who prefer the digital format and people who don't like reading. Non-print media is more appealing to most people who just want to listen to videos and audio because reading is not required. Magazines and newspapers are now becoming less popular because they also have their non-print media versions that are easier to access. Nowadays, most people have TVs and smartphones where they can access the non-print media versions of magazines and newspapers. For print media, newspapers usually focus on news events while magazines are on entertainment. On the other hand, non-print media focuses both on news and entertainment. Being well-informed is a must in this day and age. For us to be well-informed and updated at the same time, we need non-print media or broadcast media, something which is now more readily available to us in all sorts of platforms because of the advancement in technology over the years. As described, non-print media provides people with information in a format that can be heard or viewed. Awesome! I hope you learned a lot today. See you in my next episode, my grade 7 learners. This has been Sir John Reed. We will see each other again because English is so much fun! Bye!